This month in Movement with Movement RX, we are talking about overtraining. And I'm going to talk to you about overtraining in the CrossFit population. So having been to CrossFit Regionals five separate times, I've had my fair share of overtraining experiences. Um, you know, we have a competition coming up, so we kind of ramp up our training. We find any time that we can get in any extra work, whether it's working on our Olympic lifts, getting our cardio in, working on skill-specific things that we might be weak at so when we get to that competition, we're ready. However, if you're like me where you're working full-time, you have kids, you're trying to find a time to fit in that extra training. So sometimes what we do is we start forgetting about other important things such as sleep and uh, nutrition and rest, which we'll get into. Some common symptoms of overtraining, which you may not even think of, are, um, you know, you can't go to sleep at night, you have insomnia, you are, can't recover as well, so you work, do a workout and you're finding like, gosh, I just don't feel like working out again, you start losing motivation. Um, things like that, that you may not think of, are symptoms of overtraining. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways to kind of track possible ways that you can figure out if you are overtraining and ways to kind of help yourself um, so you can get back on track with your training and not go into this dangerous path of um, possible injuries. So checking your resting heart rate first thing in the morning. So before you even get out of bed, get your pulse. So either on your neck or on your radial side on your thumb and track your pulse. You're going to count how many times your heart is beating in 10 seconds. So have a watch by you. Count that time and you're going to multiply that by six and that's going to give you your resting heart rate for that minute. What you're going to want to start doing is tracking your resting heart rate every day. Um, try and get two to three weeks in if you can because that's going to give you kind of your baseline. Um, typically if you're working out and you're not overtrained, your resting heart rate should be around 60 beats per minute. Um, obviously can fluctuate. What we're trying to stay is within three to four beats of what your normal baseline resting heart rate is. If you're finding one morning all of a sudden you jump up seven to ten beats per minute and that's kind of staying normal, that's your new normal, then you might be in an overtrained state where your body's in a sympathetic state where it's in this fight or flight where you're constantly going your body's not going to be able to recover. So we want to track that on a regular basis so that way you can start noticing your baseline resting heart rate and log it down so you can track it. In these next videos, I'm going to show you a couple other ways to um, track if you might be overtraining as well. So stay tuned.